What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Did not forget, never will forget. We gotta finish it. It's just taking a long time, and I'm sorry. But it is what it is, and we're looking to get to Sunfall, um, which is now over here in an unexplored area of the map. In fact, it's one of the few unexplored left. We have down here um, in the southern, uh, southwestern corner, up here in the north center, and that's about it. After that, our entire map will be uncovered, but today we're heading to Sunfall to continue Cylons' uh, plan for world domination or whatever the heck he has going on. And we're looking to find more deep secrets of the Earth and try to uncover more of the mystery of what the heck Elizabeth Solbeck was up to in Project Zero Dawn. Thank you for sticking around for this very long series. <laughs> and I promise it will be finished, so have no fear. Unless the PlayStation Network dies in the next, uh, I don't know couple weeks we'll beat this game nothing else will stop us we'll ride our strider into the uncharted territories and head to sunfall all right how's everybody doing hope you're doing swell a campfire has been discovered i wish i could hit this campfire even when i'm on my beast i get why you can't but i wish it wasn't the case because i do like to just pop all these campfires so i have as many fast travel points as humanly possible um in the very dusty desert, ooh, some big satellite dishes. And rock breakers! Holy golly! Oh my god. Oh my god. Run for the hills. Aloy, Aloy, go, go, go. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Yep, that is Horizon Zero Dawn, and that is what makes this game freaking terrifying and awesome all the same time. Nope! Wow, it's gonna kill me. Okay, I'm probably gonna die. There's no way I can defeat this thing. If it hits me one more time, I'm dead. My only hope is to get into this uh, little chasm here. Okay, we somehow made it. That was horrifying. I don't like that. Tramplers. Rock breakers. The rolling. Good golly, Miss Molly. Broadhead sights. Why they got... Oh my god, what are these? Everything's so darn big and evil. I'm not a fan of these desert lands. Gosh, I'm also not a fan of how it wrecked my mount. Did you see that? Just like erupted out of the earth and ate my mount alive. People have ca carved th giant carvings on these rock walls. That's spooky. To say the least. Whew. We've just about filled out our uh, beast bible. But there still are a few more to find, I think. Tramplers and think Right? There's a few more to find in our notebook. Yes, there are one, two, three to be exact. Everything else has been found. And so we're going to try and find those three. Or maybe we don't want to find those three. Please, like, let's just not find those three. I think that's a better solution. But it looks like we're headed to the hills of Sunfall. Or maybe it's the city over here. I don't know. But either way, yeah, it's definitely the city. There's noises and beasts and broadheads. Quick save in our way as we quickly move to this uncharted place. Hopefully no more rock breakers emerge. That was spooky as heck. I don't know if I've ever been like jump scared like that. That was weird. Aloy with the zero ability to mantle. Some soul. Mad King Drown Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. <laughs> but they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, there's, oh, there's still a bunch of people here. I didn't know there was going to not be any people or what. What up? She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. Well, she's a fighter. But the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... 
Soul is in shadow. Galif. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. Aww. Help the little girl. Oh, she doesn't look too good. I'm gonna help her eventually. First, I do want to get deeper into uh, Sunfall, but we will help her. Deep secrets of the earth. A lot of kids around here. It's kind of cute. Cars your kids. As long as they're not nasty, as long as they're not trying to steal my focus, I will love them. Ooh, war training down there. Some really awesome animations and things going on in here. Go to the Citadel Courtyard. We gotta figure out what is going on. This is the old Summer Palace. Thank you for letting me in. Thank you for letting me in. We've got a new merchant boy. What's up, boy? -o? Anything interesting? Terror Blaster already got. Shadow Rattler. I like that, but I don't got none of your stuff. Hmm. You got any new gear for me? You don't. You don't. I wish there was new stuff, but there isn't. Hmm. Hmm. We made it to a cutscene, though, so we're on the right place. Whoa, it's like a coliseum. The sun ring. Stay off my focus. Eclipse catches you here. You'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Interesting, so they are, they do battle with machines in the ring. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Okay. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Circulate. Percolate, circulate. Look out for the beast in the ring. And the cars are telling me. Outlanders. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Shadow Karja soldier. Everyone's Shadow Karja, which I'll is a nastier shards, breed. Even if it means having a listen of this to faction. The Shadow are looking for one of their own. I'm fasting all y'all. Well. I will get the first bounty. I will bounty myself. Ooh, who's that? High Priestess? Oh no, it's a dude. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. That little boy? I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. Aww. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. <laughs> you and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Ooh, Vanasha. We both know you know killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. I like her purple and gold. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in that kid Citadel. seemed really, uh, that kid seemed like sad that he's like sending bounty hunters to go kill some dude. I mean, I, I, I feel for him. I understand. I feel. I get what you're doing. I, 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 I see. I'm not sure what they're saying, like one true king. It's a short drop from there. One true sun king. Interesting. Oh, we're gonna run on these rocks? Running on the rocks, they don't even know what lurks beneath or above. But we're about to find out, I guess. Oh, we are going down. Okay, I thought we were going up. We're going down. 
deep secrets of the earth definitely do lie down. So that's the right way to go. And we'll crawl our way deeper. And then we, I do want to go help Vanasha. Look for a vent. Uh -huh. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Yes. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, oh, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. So this is the point of no return, I guess, right? You can't, like, does the game just end if you, this is the final mission down here? Interesting. Well, I guess that's up to you guys. I'll ask you. Do you want me to go in there and just finish the storyline up? Or would you prefer that I continue and did some more of the side missions and the other stuff uh, before dealing with the, you know, the end of the main storyline? So let me know in the comments below what you want about that. Uh, this series is taking a long time, so if you wanted to just wrap up, I will do that. If you would prefer that I, you know, do more side stuff and, and you feel a type of way, let me know. And I, I kind of want, again, I kind of want this to be like your your series. So um, it's taken me a very long time. You tell me what you want and I will try my best to bring it to you. Um, for now, we're going to go down to talk to Vinasha on Shadow Side. I'm definitely not just ending it right here, right now. Um, but let me know because I'm curious what you guys want. And I'm curious what you think. That is uh, the truth of Project Zero Dawn. Yeah, so that's going to be the end. Um, Vanasha, let's, let's, let's highlight her. Where's she at? To meet her at a green tent down if you're going to watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. If you've got a problem with me, talk to Odin. If you can stand his breath. All right, if you say so. So there's stuff to do still. Um, we have all the stuff of the Hunter's Guild. We have all this other stuff. Yada, 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 yuda, yuda, yuda. So, in the meantime, though, we can head down and talk to Vinasha. We can always climb back up here and complete that. But I, I'm glad they gave us a point of no return. Because I had no idea where we were at with that. I didn't know that we were even close. I thought there were more missions. But I guess we've done quite a few missions. With mean, the side missions and stuff. Um, but there's a lot more to hunt. There's a lot more to, to, to deal with. There's a lot more going on in the world. Um, obviously, we're level 30. But we have way more um, cauldrons. And we've got more side missions and more errands. All sorts of stuff. So... It could be the end if you want to just see the story wrap up, or we could continue um, and do all the stuff we've the been doing. From Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families if you have one. Mm hmm. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the green climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. What is the green climb? What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. Hmm. Well, tell me more about yourself, Banasha. <sighs> Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. 
It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them if he survives. Her lip sync is off, but I like her outfit. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? <laughs> Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. The green climb? We gotta save this dude. He helps feed kids. He's all sorts of... Whoa! It's a far... Okay, we do have a campfire to travel. I'm very curious to know what you guys are gonna think if you want to... Uh, <laughs> do all the side stuff or if you just want to bust through the ending. I'm very... Very, very curious, my friends. But it should be interesting to see. Um, and, you know, I'll be okay either way. I can always create a save and come back and do the other stuff on my time. I'm invested enough in the world that I kind of want to just... I don't know if 100% is the right word, but I do want to see it through. At least most of the quests. Um, but yeah, that's... That's weird that this is where it ends, at Sunfall. I guess we did meet Hades. I guess we found out he's a ball of mumbo jumbo trash, and now it's kind of time to take take it to him. I just wasn't sure that was gonna happen so soon, you know. Always creeps up on you the end of games, but we've got this a uh, green path, green what is it called? Green pass? I don't know. I'm blanking. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of prey, and so like. Just like Anasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. Part of my mind is like, okay, I'm gonna use my alien powers in the phantoms, but there's no Danny phantoms in this game, which is good. They're very spooky. Though, although that rock breaker tried to spook me like he was an alien from Prey. Follow the trails. Follow the trails. I don't even see that there. The green climb. That's what it's called, dudes. That's what it's called. Aloy of the green climb. Looks kind of like Pride Rock. Simba's gonna be out there just chilling in Timon and Pumbaa. You guys excited for the live action Lion King? I'm very nervous. It's gonna be bad. It's my favorite Disney movie. Probably my favorite, you know, if you wanna call it like a kids movie. And I'm a uh, favorite like childhood movie, and I'm worried that it's gonna be wrecked. I wish they just leave that stuff alone and make new tales, but that would be too too difficult to come up with something brand new, won't it? So let's reuse. Time to climb. Time to climb. Mmm, wow. Okay, up we go. Around the river bend we travel. Craggle, craggle, crusty crab. Take me to your feral dad. Okay, that was a great way to break our back. Whew! Let's give it another go. Alright, up here. There's gotta be a better way to launch ourselves, doesn't there? Definitely where we're supposed to be, right? Aloy, what are you doing, girl? Not now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> juggle in my brain. Not quite sure why that didn't work. This is a nice difficult climb, which I appreciate. I just wish there was some idea of where I was supposed to go. It sure looks like I could get there, but I can't. So... Let me just... Do it the old-fashioned way. Climb like a goofball. Hmm. Mountain climbing involves a lot of jumps. Yes. 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 This is a very weird climb, my friends. A very weird climb indeed. It's a very non-linear climb. If you will. But I guess we just made it. Eh? You just forge your own path. Ailey doesn't need handholds. Handholds are for... Bombs. All right. 
Uthid, where are you? I gotta warn you about these people that wanna kill you. Alright, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Uh huh. Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've gotta catch up. Okay. Oh no! Ow, Aloy. Ow, 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 ow. Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. Where did the tracks lead? Because I just fell down the freaking mountain. Crap, I have to go back up. But I'm bleeding! I think we can just climb up here like this? Maybe. It's a very weird mountain, you know that? I've seen a lot of weird mountains here in Horizon Zero Dawn. But none like quite like this. At least there was a nice easy way up. And watch, it's gonna lead us down. Got some cool peaceful music playing. I feel like I'm inside of a, a nice PC seen? game. Ooh. It's been hunting. Ooh. Ooh did is hunting a lot of stuff. Everything useful has been stripped. Uthid's been gathering components. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no! I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I ha literally have no health. I literally have no health. I'm so screwed. This is not gonna go well. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Mamacita! I hate you all. I wish I could vaporize you in an instant, but I can't. How did that arrow miss? How did all those arrows miss, dude? These guys are punks. No, 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 no. I only have a few. Ah, wow! Okay, Aloy's been killed. Murdered by a glint hawk on the green climb. It's not very green anymore. It's called the red climb because we bled out all over the mountains. Jeez. That was vicious. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that glint hawks were going to appear. All those mountain falls mess me up. Okay, at least I have full health. Everything useful has been stripped. Yep, here come the glint hawks. It's a triple jam of them. Um, and remember, the best way is to get them down and then hook them. So here, let's do that. Wait. Hey, come here, come here, gotcha, okay, whack on him, whack a mole, get that crit, oh yeah baby, get that crit again, uh, okay, again, all you gotta do is rope him and we're gonna get the kills we need, alright, he wants to just play in the mountains like a pansy, but his friend over here is wanting to come down and play, hey, Gotcha. Where are you at? Oh, I definitely hit you. That's okay. I'll get you again. Get you again. My friend, my friend. We'll whack on you until that critical strike appears. There we go. Alright, so this is the weakness that the Glint Hawks have and have always had. They just didn't want to admit it. Alright, so this one is now. He's a he's a high flyer. I respect him for being a high bomber. Like a bomb, bomb boy. Um, so if that's how he's gonna be, then we will fight in the more organic way. Oh, he's he's coming down. Right. Okay. All right. Um, he definitely he's definitely an air. Oh, I can't. Okay. That was a horrible shot. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so we're fighting you different than your friends. All your friends we fought the way of the, uh, you know, the the ropes. 
But you, my friend, are a little bit different. There we go. More tracks to follow, more tracks to follow, and I'm not even gonna worry about the glint boys. Oh, actually I will. Two glint boys sleeping right by each other. That's cute. Come here, glint boys. Alright. So the tracks are... Everything useful has been stripped. Back, back this way. Hey, some health! I'm surprised I made it alive, but that, again, that rope caster strategy is just really... So freaking useful for fighting these guys. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Although we didn't take all the parts. Dead watchers. More scrap for Uthid stockpile. What is he doing? I mean to find him like up in a cave? Is he already gonna be dead? Rolling across the mountain pass. That's what Uthid did. <gasps> The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. I don't want to hurt you, baby Uthid. I just want to save you and bring you back to the village. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence. Then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Oh, snap. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. <laughs> Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. Well, hey, Avad's a much better guy than that high priest, dude. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> ...mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! Oh, jeez. The mountains belong to us! 
Keycooks killers. Wow. Chubsters coming down from the when snowy peaks. Done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. <laughs> All oh, right. So, in all honesty, the first time I did this, I died. I only had, I had such limited health that it was hard to survive with all these arrow wielders. Um, and they they've got good movement on them. They are definitely like trained professionals. They are mercenaries, as you can tell. Um, and they hate us, and they hate me, and my arrows whiz by their heads so frequently uh, that I gotta I gotta just keep my my aim going, keep my shots up, and try to kill them. Uh, the quicker I can get them from like a distance, the better for me, because they overwhelm me quite quickly. And leading them doesn't seem to work as well as I would imagine. I, I always think like leading with this bow is the way I want to go, but it's much much harder than it looks. Hey, why does this dude have like a freaking girl voice? Don't really get that. Hey, oh yes, okay. Good crouch. I'm gonna hit you anyways. I'm gonna try to take you out. See, it flies so straight. You think that this chick is far enough away that it would. Whoa! Look at that respawn. Again, they're really, really proficient with their arrows. But yeah, I, I really recommend just going straight for them. Unless you're like a million miles away, it seems like. Like, see, I feel like. Leading them is so dang hard, whereas we just aim directly... See? Again, leading makes no sense. Just aim straight for... And then I aim straight for and doesn't do anything. Ah! My arrows! I need them to be more better! Okay, someone's coming for me. Ow. Please be the last dude. Please be the last guy. I stand there and let him burn me half to death. There we go. Did you? Okay, well, I wish you would have given that to me before because that was a, a rough and rugged battle. I don't know. I feel like our arrows just... I wanted to lead, but leading didn't seem to make a difference. So it was just, it was just a mess. It was a messy battle. We got a potion, so that's good. Up we go. tag team in this climb. You gonna help me up? Up and over. Okay, good. I was gonna say. Grab what you can while we still have time. Okay. Um Is there gonna be another battle? I'm guessing that's what he's kind of referencing. So the medicinal herbs up here are much more purple than they are red, which is interesting. I feel like we're about to get bombarded again. Yes. Oseram this time? A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, there's that evil jerk. That stupid diamond on his head. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Okay. Here we go. Right in the face. Big disgrace. That arrow sailed over your head, and now you're dead! Again, I don't know why, but I'm always convinced that... And I've said this, but... I want to aim, like, higher, but it does no good. There you go. Good work. He's Look dead. Out. To your left. Where at? Oh, we got dudes coming in hot. Mm. There we go. Good. This is a big battle. Keep at
Whoa! Golly goodness. Thanks for the potion. Whack him! Ow. Golly goodness, what are you doing? Put the fire out on your face! Ow. This lady. They like don't see me. Good, hit a trap, and we're gonna puncture your skull while you're in the snow. <sighs> we good? No, nope, we're not. Okay. Where's the third? I know there's a third guy. Can you help me out? You... What? Damn. What? No, I don't want to make those arrows. Come on, girl. Pop out of cover. There we go. That's the last of the marbles. Father's body had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? Sure. I just wish that we could have shot the stupid priest man. More climbing? Is there gonna be another wave of this, or is this the last wave? This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Please tell me you have more supplies then. I need all the medicines I can find. Can I have more medicinal salve? Please? Okay, there's some good stuff here. And, um... Man, this has been like... This is harder than the, the actual bounty hunter's places, you know? This is like real intense... Aggressive people. I thought we were done for, frankly. I thought we were gonna die. Can't be too prepared. We're lucky that we made it out. Across there and we'll have him. Okay. No potions but like I wish. Oh god, there I he have is. To come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid. And mine. The Outlanders led us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. All right, melee men, melee men, here come the melee men. By order of the priest. Come on. On guard. Then. Can you watch out? I'm they find corruption arrows. Up? That guy seems nasty. Okay. Sets on your pathetic life, Wow. KO. <laughs> I guess we'll have to move around. I didn't think he could reach us from there. That's why I was kind of standing still. But I tried to. For my honor. Okay. Judgment upon you. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon you. Look how much damage these guys have and hold in their heads. Corruption arrow boy. Get the crit on him. Yep, okay. The sun sets on your pathetic life. Oh. 
amazing that these guys take so much freaking health. Okay. Alright. Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! Sun's judgment upon Good knockdown. Okay, he will kill me with one hit if I let him get close. Yes. Got him. Okay, the fire striker is nasty. Savage Tarav, don't like him. Low on health, feeling gross. Climb up here. Where we want the, just the freaking things. Alright, it's not a lot, but it's enough that it'll help us through. Does he have another layer of guards? I feel like this never ends. This is one of the most like difficult and demanding side missions in the game, I think. Got another one of these scenes. All right, tag team jumpers. Whoop. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. Ooh. Hmm. That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <sighs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully, he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. It's a little morbid. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. Hmm. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend. Three Tohuadiv near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. 
All right, so that wraps that up. The but now we got to get. Yeah. Me. Are we bound for? We got to get the. Uh, we got to get no, the kid out of there, which is which is cool. That was a fun little quest. Uh, a lot of demand on the arrow skills and on the health bar, but we managed to make it out alive, and now we'll wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with this series. Let me know what you think about just hitting the uh, point of no return, or you know, continuing on with some of more of these missions like this. Uh, curious to know your input. I will take it into account, and we'll move forward. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Test day, drink so much. I love you all, and until next time, we will see you all later.